Hey everyone, welcome to Better With Tech. My name is Ozzy Mercado and I'm going to show you how to do math using Google Sheets. Let's get started. If you haven't tried putting formulas into the spreadsheets, but you have been putting in data, uh, you'll notice that when you when you type in some some information into a cell, that not only does it appear in the cell, but also appears in this area right above the spreadsheet. And those, no matter what information you type in to a cell, uh, those always reflect each other. I'm going to delete these. When you type in a formula, the way you type in a formula is by hitting the equal sign. And we're going to we're going to do a simple math equation for uh, for for this. We're going to type in 5 plus 2 and hit enter. And you'll see even though we typed in equals 5 plus 2, what's displaying in the cell is the answer which is 7 but when we select the cell you'll see above the spreadsheet it says equals 5 plus 2 our formula so when we use a formula uh, the cell itself that we type the formula in will display the answer now to do other operations other than adding uh, let's change this let's uh, do some div uh, some division. So we'll do uh, 6 divided by 2. And to do division, you have to use the uh, forward slash. And there we have it. 6 divided by 2, 3. Uh, subtraction, we'll just do 6 minus 2, which equal equals to 4. And for multiplication, we're going to use the asterisk symbol. And then we'll do 6 times 3, 6 asterisks, 3, and 18. So again, whenever you're writing a formula, start off with the equal sign, and then you can start typing your formula from that. You can use plus, minus, uh, the forward slash for division, this asterisk for multiplication but what if we don't know our what if we don't know what we're uh, calculating uh, kind of like algebra algebra in algebra we have a formula and in the formula we have variables that can change they're not always the same so what I'm going to do is, in this first cell, I'm going to type the number 5, and in the second cell, I'm going to type the number 3. Now, each cell has a coordinate. So, cell, uh, the cell that I typed 5 in is A1. The cell that I typed 3 in is B1. It goes column and then row. In column C, row 1, I'm going to use my formula. Uh, before I type that in, I'm just going to type in a simple algebra formula. A plus B equals C. In this case, I'm going to do A1, the cell in A1, or the value in A1, plus B1, the value in B1, equals the value in C1. And the way I'm going to type that in is by first typing the equal sign to tell the spreadsheet that I'm, I'm putting in a formula. And I'm going to type my first cell reference, which is A1, and you'll see it highlighted the text in for A1 in an orange color and it also highlighted the cell in the same color. Next I'm going to type plus and type in B1 and there you have it. It highlighted the same color of the reference for B1 um, and the cell reference for B1. 
and that's the same as saying a plus b when I hit enter I have my answer 5 plus 3 equals 8 so we basically rewrote this formula as c equals a plus b and that's how you write a formula in Google Sheets the best thing about this is that now we can change the values of b1 and a1 uh, to whatever we want and it will always update our answer just type in the value that you want to change it to and hit enter and our answer is updated and it's calculated correctly now I'm going to delete this and what if we wanted to we know how to do adding subtracting dividing multiplying um, and how to use cells as variables what if we want to do exponents you know uh, 2 to the power of 4 or 3 to the power of 2 um, we can do that by using functions and the way we call a function is we start typing our formula by hitting equals and then we type in the name of the function in this case we want to use the function power so P O W and you'll see as we started typing it tries to guess what function we want both these functions even those one is P O W and the other one is P O W E R power uh, they're the same they're the same function we could use either either one we're gonna use uh, P O W and you'll see I click P O W and it automatically typed in a open parenthesis uh, after you enter in the name of a function you you have to put an open parenthesis uh, to start passing in parameters and the parameters that it accepts are a base number and an expo exponent number uh, it gives you an example of how to type it in and it also tells you what the function returns so for this I could manually enter numbers but since we already know that we can reference cells uh, we'll do that here say I want um, cell a1 to be my base I could just click the cell and hit comma and now I'm gonna pick my exponent I could click the cell that I want to be my exponent or I could type it in b1 and now that we have our base and our exponent we have to type a closed parenthesis to uh, to close the function and hit enter and there we have it 2 to the power of 6 is 64 and if we change it to 4 we change this to 2 we know that 4 to the power of 2 is 16 and it's updated as so so another thing we could do is we've referenced cells that we've typed in numbers to but we could also reference cells that are generated by a formula so I'm gonna go to uh, E1 just to separate this a little bit and I'm gonna enter in another formula I want to find the square root of a number and as I start typing you'll see that Google Sheets is already trying to guess what I want in this case I want square root I could type that in but I'm just gonna click it and so square root uh, function is called SQRT make sure there's an open parenthesis and then you're gonna type in the value in this case I want cell C1 so I'm just gonna click cell C1 I'm gonna click close parenthesis all right, sorry, I'm going to type close parenthesis and hit enter. And now it shows us that our square root of 16 is 4. And again, we could change these numbers around, go 5, 
Uh, let's change our exponent to six. And we're getting both our five to the power of six and what the square root of C is, C1. Now that's how you use formulas. That's also a little bit of how you use functions, uh, but really that's how you do math in Google Sheets. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, let me know in the comments section below or email me at betterwithtech at gmail.com. Please like this video if you think it's helpful and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.